you guys are so lucky that we're involved in this performing arts thing because it's about connecting. You connect. Not everything connects. When you get out, you may not even do what you're doing here. But if you hear someone sp uh, play or sing, it connects. They work with each other. They connect with the audience. Uh, someone who's doing a play, someone who's dancing, it connects. It's huge. It's what we do. And when you leave, remember you have this tool, even if you don't do what you're going to school for here. Some of you guys might know George Rabbi. Some of you might not. George, <clears throat> George Rabbi is, uh, is our jazz trumpet teacher, and he leads the jazz band. George and I were roommates when Rowan was Glassboro State College. And George, uh, he tells me one day, he goes, he called me DB, my initials. He goes, DB, let's go down to Bridgeton. My mother works at this place called Morio's. It's a deli. She makes the greatest subs you've ever had. Grinders, hoagies, wherever you're from. When you're in college, you're just always hungry. You don't really care what it's called. So I said, okay, we'll go down to Bridgeton. So we drive down to Bridgeton. The whole time we're going down to Bridgeton, George is saying, she makes these great subs. You should see the way, they're, she, the way they're made. They're made so when you drive in your car, you can eat them, and they won't make a mess. And he's talking, he's talking. Okay. So we go down to this place, and I don't know if anyone is from Bridgeton, but this place, Morio's, is about the size from where I am to this wall. And we open up the door, and there's a line of about 15 people who has a suit on, who's wearing like nurse scrubs, that green outfit, who's a construction worker. You see all these people, and they're all in line to get their subs, and it's just like 7 in the morning from his mother, Gracie, who's about that tall, and she's making these subs, and everybody's in line, and Gracie's talking to each person. Hi, how are you? Uh, how are your kids? Oh, they're, uh, they did really well. Okay. Hey, how are you? Your little girls and Girl Scouts, and everybody is, is kind of like an audience with the Pope. I feel like I'm in the Vatican. They're all in line to come and meet Gracie and get these subs. Meanwhile, George is still telling me how great these subs are. So in front of me is this guy. He's about six, six, five. The guy was huge. And then me and then George. And George is still talking about how great these subs are. And this guy turns around. He looks at George and he says, is Gracie your mom? And George says, yeah. And he goes, this truck driver, said, he was a trucker. He had a big rig outside. The thing was idling. And he says, um, your mom makes the greatest subs, man. Your mom makes unbelievable subs. And he says, you know, your mom makes subs, so when you drive in the truck, it doesn't make a mess. <clears throat> and I'm looking at this guy, I'm looking at George, I'm thinking, would you guys have this thing worked out or something? So he says, yeah, they're great. He says, I drive a truck eight hours to 12 hours every day. I leave Bridgeton, I either go to Long Island or I go to DC and in the snow and in the rain. He goes, some days I hate my job. I hate it, I hate it. But I wake up and I can't wait to come here, see Gracie, because she's such a sweetheart, and get this sub, which is made great. Once again, you know, these great subs. I'm still in line. I don't even know what these guys are talking about yet. And he says, it makes my whole day that I could wake up and see her, and then I'll have this sub, and I'll put it on the driver's seat. I won't eat it till about 1 o'clock. And all day I look forward to it. She makes my day. This is, you know, we're waiting in line. And he says, she makes my day. He says, you know, this is, it's not just a sub. This, your mom is an artist. Your mom's a true artist. And, and you know, George is, okay, okay. And this guy says, yeah, I mean, art, art isn't like, you know, what you're doing. This is a truck driver. Art isn't what you're doing. Art is how you do what you're doing. He says, your mother makes my day much more livable and better Every day I have to drive this rig. So, okay, so we wait in line. We finally get up there, and Gracie, she's like about that tall, and she would come up, hey, Denny, how you doing, Denny? She'd give you a hug, and she would go up to George and grab his cheeks like a bulldog, and like, here's my Georgie boy. She'd rip his face back and forth. What kind of sub do you want? So she would make us this, uh, she'd make us these subs. And she's talking to everybody. Everybody loved her. It was a great vibe. Yes, it's so, so we go, and I think we went to Bridgeton Zoo because we were eating in the car and a, I don't know, a gazelle walked by or a peacock, something like that. So it had to be the zoo. I hope it was the zoo. But um, <laughs> it was so long ago, I don't remember. But we, 
I take the sub out, and I'm ready to, to open it up. And I'm looking at it, and it's wrapped perfect. I mean, it's not just wrapped. It's wrapped perfect. It looked like a piece of PVC pipe. It was just perfect, right angles, the, the way everything came down. It just looked great. I was looking at this thing and said, I don't even want to mess with it. It was as if someone in Macy's in the holidays, you know, when they wrap your gifts, it was like that. So I started to open it. George says, no, 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 don't open it. Don't open it the way you're going to open it. Grab the one piece of tape, you pull it, and as you pull it, the sub rolls around on the bottom, and when it's finished, it lands upright, so the ingredients are, <laughs> the ingredients are facing up, and then you grab the paper and you pull it, and there's your tray, and that's why you can eat it in the van, or you can eat it while you're driving. And I'm looking at this thing, I'm thinking, who, who thought of this construction? Who, who made, the, Michelangelo make this sub? Who made this sub? So then, then George goes on and he says, when you eat it, she makes it so when you bite into it, it doesn't explode all over the place. And she, ma she makes it so the strong flavors are on the inside. So when you bite through it, you taste each flavor. Because if the strong flavors were on the outside, if the stronger meats were on the right, Salvi, if the stronger meats were on the outside, then you would taste that and not taste the inside. I said, was this like a scotch tasting? Or it's just a sub. <laughs> what is this thing? So, and sure enough, we ate it, and it was, it was unbelievable. But this truck driver was talking about Gracie being an artist and how if you love what you do or finding what it is you love to do as opposed to doing something and trying to love it and you're great at it and you don't quit, then that's a recipe right there to be successful because you can be successful at something you don't like and then you're really in trouble. But if you find what it is you love to do and then you you be as great as you can. You go and you study. You hang out with people who do what you want. It could be anything. It could be, could be uh, you want to be a plumber. You want to be a roofer. You want to be an accountant. You want to be a dancer. You want to be a singer. You want to be a playwright. Hang around those people. Get on the Google and find out how you can get better. And don't quit. And then the truck driver actually, he also said, she doesn't know. He's talking about Gracie. <coughs> She doesn't know how what she does affects people. How what she does every day, because she loves it and she's great at it and she's done it forever, that she makes my day all the time. And he said, he goes, I think I should tell her one day. And I was just speechless. I was just going down for a sub. I didn't realize that. What we do has the power to spread and to spread in a positive way if you love what you do and you're great at it. So just a quick story and then I'm getting out of here because I know we all want to eat. So... I did a concert up around, outside of Buffalo. It was a, uh, for those of you who don't know, I play saxophone, and I sometimes travel around, and I play with different bands, high school bands, college bands. And um, I went up to this little suburb outside of Buffalo, and we were rehearsing, like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and we go through all these songs, and we're playing this last tune. And in jazz, when you play a song, uh, we'll call it a, an arrangement, you play it from this end, and it goes all the way to here. Well, there could be a section that repeats forever. We call it an open section. And in that section, you can spend as much time as you want there, and you can have people solo. So we rehearse this tune, and I, I have all the kids in the band try to solo a little bit, just as a little clinic kind of moment, and you can do that in one of these sections. Everybody plays for about 10 seconds. It's fine. We go to eat. We come back at night, and we're going to give our concert, so we do our concert, and at the end of the concert, we're playing this song. And when we get to this part that loops, okay, I'm looking at the band and I'm thinking, I want to pull one of these kids up, and I'm going to just have them solo with me. I'm going to surprise them. I don't want them to know because they'll just they'll freak out. So there was this girl who sat in the saxophone section, and she was just real... Um, She wasn't smiling, she wasn't sad, she wasn't happy, she wasn't anything. She was just kind of flat, if you know what I mean. And I thought, something told me to pick her, because I was going to have them come up. So, we're in this loop section, the drummer's playing, doo -doo 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 -doo. we're just looping around, and I point to this girl, I say, come on up. And her eyes get real big, and she looks over, and I say, come on up, yeah, come on up. Doo -doo -doo. Drummer's playing, we're looping around. So she walks up, and when she walks up, there's this weird feeling from the crowd, there's this... Like the air is sucked out of the room, this like, and you could feel something happen. This is a small town. 
these people, they know each other. They're all, you know, they're all connected. So she comes up, I play a little bit, and the trick is we swap a little. I play something, and I'm not, I'm not trying to play really good. I'm like, dee dee da 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 now you play. And she's like, ta, 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 ta. Now it's my turn, ba, ba, ba. But we go back and forth like that for a while, okay? Audience, strange energy, like, it was weird. So I finish, I see she's starting to get, she gets comfortable, so I back away, and I told her, you, you go, you can do it. And she does it, and then when she's finished, she walks back, everybody is clapping like crazy. They're just clapping like mad, almost too much. And I'm thinking, hey, you know, I play better than her. What kind of, you know, what's this? <laughs> so she sits down, everybody's clapping, and then she smiles, okay? So she smiles, everybody's on their feet. Standing ovation, everybody's clapping. And I'm thinking, wow, her friends in the saxophone section, they're patting her on the back. Who's giving her a hug? It's a whole thing. And I'm, I'm looking at this thinking, whoa, this is, something's going on here. I don't know what's, what's going on. But this is this idea of whatever you do spreads out. So it's a standing ovation. We're in the drummer's still back there. Doo, 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 this poor kid, he's back there pounding away. So we cued the tune and we finished the song. Last tune of the concert. Everybody's still standing. So when she smiled to when the end of the concert hit, everybody's on their feet. And it was really strange. It was really this energy that was, something was up. So afterwards, usually, we all go in a back room. We all say hello. We all, like, meet the parents. That didn't happen. As soon as we were finished, everybody came up on stage. So now there's this crowd on stage around this girl and now she's crying and she's laughing and who's hugging everybody's hugging and I'm thinking wow it was almost only a B flat chord what <laughs> you know what what is this so I'm starting to put my horn away I was on that side of the stage backstage and one of these moms I guess it was a band mom she comes up to me while I'm taking my saxophone apart and she says can I ask you something and I said yeah what, what? she says, how did you know that was going to work how did you know that was going to happen and I said, well, uh, you know, in, intelligently, I said, uh, I, 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 yeah, I, uh, usually it does. I mean, I don't know. I just kind of pick somebody. And then she looked at me. And at that time, another woman came up, another mom came up. And mom number, mom, mom, mom number one said, you didn't know, did you? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? And then she looks at mom number two and says, he didn't know. And, <laughs> and mom number two looks at me. And does this, she goes, oh my God, you didn't know. <laughs> and I'm thinking, you know, I'm getting a little tired of this, this I don't know thing. So I said, what, what, what? what? And they look, kind of looked at each other. And the mother, the first one, mom number one, said, and I forgot her name. You know, I never got this girl's name. It just went, what she said next just blocked everything else out. I couldn't, I didn't even receive information. She said, her mom passed away three weeks ago from breast cancer. And this girl, she hasn't spoken or smiled or reacted or anything. And this community, like us right in here, says, we know every, we all know each other. We're waiting for a signal from her to, so we can get in and help her because we're scared for her. We're worried that she's gonna hurt herself because we just can't like lock into her. We don't know what she's gonna do. And she hasn't responded to anything. So when she smiled on stage, we realized we have her now. That's our end. And that's why everybody went nuts. It's still up in there. <clears throat> so then mom number two puts her hand on my chest, right? she, and I have my horn. You know, she puts her hand on me and says, thanks for giving her back to us. And I, I got nothing. I was, I was like, whew, it's just a B flat chord, you know? <laughs> and, and I thought, I'm putting, then I turned around and they left and I, I put the horn in the case and I'm looking at the horn and I'm thinking, this was a teaching moment. I had no idea how this stuff spreads out. I was just trying to get somebody to solo. When Gracie makes a sub, She's not thinking she's making a truck driver 
a better person that day and maybe his blood pressure will go down and maybe he'll drive safer and maybe life, somebody may not get in an accident someday. So what we do, it's built to connect. All of us in the performing arts, we are built to connect. So when you do it, make sure you love what you're doing, be great at it, and don't quit. And don't worry about how you're gonna change the world. That's a byproduct if you love what you do. So that messed me up for about six months. I couldn't teach without thinking that at any moment you can say or do anything that might affect somebody. I was lucky, well I was blessed. If you can, if you do something, you don't know how it affects somebody. But if somebody, if you see it, you're lucky. If you see how you affect somebody, you're lucky. But if somebody tells you, then you're blessed. I could have left that auditorium and not had a clue what all that applause was about. Gracie might never know how this guy, how this truck driver is, is actually better because of what she does. So when you guys go out and you do your art or whatever you do and you make it art, make sure you love it. Make sure you love it and be as great as you can at it and don't quit and the world will change. You don't have to worry about that part. All right, so go out in the world and make your hoagie. I'm through. Please welcome back Dr. John Paston for the presentation of medallions and the introduction of guests. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to begin by uh, presenting the Joseph Robinette Excellence in Theater and Dance Award. And you saw these excellent performers uh, just a little while ago. First, please welcome Andrew R. Spinosi. <laughs> Next, the Brenna G. Goldheft Dance Award, and this goes out to Angelina LaSala. <laughs> I asked her, please tell me that was iced tea you were drinking in that JD bottle. <laughs> uh, next, the Philip A. Granito Excellence in Theater Award, and it goes to Lauren N. Berman. Okay, and last but not least, the W. Clark Flieger Award for Musical Excellence, Emily de Padua. Before I introduce uh, the folks on stage, I want to introduce a couple people in the audience to you. Uh, I think, anyway, I don't know if it's Joe Monahan, are you still here, Joe? Where are you, Joe? Well, Joe Monahan was here. <laughs> 
What what is significance about Joe's presence? Joe had to leave. Uh, I just wasn't sure if he was was here or not. What's significance about Joe being here? Uh, Joe's the assistant vice president of facilities, and he was the gentleman responsible for getting this outstanding concert hall refurbished and ready for uh, this past year. So I just thought it was great uh, that he was attending our performance, our uh, ceremony. But again, he had to leave. But speaking about this concert hall, it's the Flieger Concert Hall. It was named after our first chairman of the music department, Clark W. Flieger. And I'm so pleased, and, and uh, for the first time since I've been here, uh, to, to tell you that his uh, wife, Lucille Flieger, is here with us today. I'm so pleased she's here. So please welcome Lucille. Lucille not only sponsored that Flieger medallion that Emily DePadua won, but also four uh, uh, string scholarships each year. So we're so grateful to you, Lucille. Yes. To introduce the folks on stage, I'll start with uh, your far left in, in the back row, uh, Professor Marion Stieber, who is the um, Chair of the Music Department Graduate Committee. Marion. Yeah. Next to Marion is Joe Akinskis. Joe is uh, the uh, alumni board representative for music. And uh, guess what, guys? As of today, you're alumni. So you need to know this guy here, Joe Akinskis. <laughs> And I think the, you all met Dennis de Blasio. <laughs> the gentleman to uh, Denny's left is uh, David Von Collen. Now David, David Von Collen, David was a, uh, a Rowan graduate in 1965, uh, science education, and he's here to present his granddaughter with her, um, with her diploma. And we're so glad that he's here, and you'll 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 get to see this in a little bit later, David. And I'm I've been blessed with an incredible team. Um, first, our associate dean. I don't know how we did it without her for so many years, uh, Melanie Stewart. And there's no question, I have the best chairs, both of them. First, uh, Chair of Theater and Dance, Liz Hostetter. <laughs> and Chair of the Music Department, Dr. Rick Dammers. <laughs> That's it, no one else, right? <laughs> I saved Chris for last. Uh, Chris is our, uh, uh, Dr. Christopher Rose is our, uh, one of our new faculty members who uh, is doing our musical theater program. And he is going to be the reader today of uh, all of your names. So with that, that means we're ready to give you your diploma. So let's get over. Chris. Jessica Lynn Evans, MA in Theater Arts Administration. <laughs> Thank you. 
Laura Ann Wade, MA in Theater, Arts Administration. <laughs> Floyd J. White, Jr., MA in Theater, Arts Administration. <laughs> Christina Richardson, MA in Theater, Arts Administration. Ashley T. Taylor, MA in Theater, Arts Administration. Andrew Variel, MA in Theater, Arts Administration. Benjamin Luke Patterson, Master in Music. Eric W. Marley, Master in Music. Lisa M. Miller, Master in Music. Ying Wang, Master in Music. <laughs> Jenna Renee DeSalvio, Master in Music. <laughs> Mark Joseph Nestman, Bachelor of Music. Hi, Alex. Alexander F. Pollock, Bachelor of Music. <laughs> Caroline Eileen Kubak, Bachelor of Music. Nathaniel Wisely, Bachelor of Music. <laughs> Hannah Lee Murphy, Bachelor of Music. <laughs> Catherine F. Wyatt, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Instrumental. Jenny Maria Crescenzo, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Samuel Sarlo, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Paul Jeffrey Pru, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Dennis Travis Washington, double major, Bachelor of Music and Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Vocal. <laughs> Elisa Christine Grail, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Vocal. Siobhan Christine McClintock, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Instrumental. <laughs> Laura Michelle Johnson, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Vocal. <laughs> Robert W. George, Bachelor of Music. Tyler William Stone, Bachelor of Arts, Music.
Eric Matthew Shacklett, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Instrumental. William R. Mendez, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Hi, Eli. Eli Max Goldberg, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Vocal. Lance Preston Bird, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Instrumental. Matthew F. McDermott, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Instrumental. Anthony J. Warga, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Jazz. Michael Abale, Bachelor of Music, Music and BM Music Composition. Rachel J. Ellis, Bachelor of Music. Glenn Rand Dawson, Bachelor of Music, Music Education Instrumental. <laughs> Ashley M. Mathis, Bachelor of Arts, Music. <laughs> David B. Rabinowitz, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Indranath Chattopadhyay, Bachelor of Music. <laughs> Matthew John DeFilippo, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Instrumental. Connor McGettigan. Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Instrumental. <laughs> Ying Ki Wong, Bachelor of Music. Sarah J. Parker, Bachelor of Arts, Music. Charlotte Mary Gavin, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Vocal. <laughs> Leslie Marquez Salmeron, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Instrumental. <laughs> Christopher Evans, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Instrumental. Ashley Nicole Morrow, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Vocal. <laughs> Timothy Joseph Ocello, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Jazz. <laughs> Mary Alexis Onopchenko, Bachelor of Music, Music Education, Instrumental. <laughs> Emily Ann Misola de Padua, Bachelor of Music. <laughs> Corinne Anna Cranmer, 
Double major, Bachelor of Arts, Theater and Dance. Yeah. Haley Ann Solberg, Bachelor of Arts, Dance. Samantha Ann Thomas, Bachelor of Arts, Dance. <laughs> Nettie P. Corona, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. <laughs> Melissa Ann Patterson, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Jessica Lynn Albano, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Benjamin Shutman, Bachelors of Arts, Theater. Congrats, dude. David William Jordan, Bachelor of Arts Theater. James Patrick Lewis, Bachelor of Arts Theater. Ryan Harry Van Dexter, Bachelor of Arts Theater. Caitlin Heather Scott, Bachelor of Arts Theater. Julia Marie Wagner, Bachelor of Arts Theater. Janet Helen Gleason, Bachelor of Arts Theater. Christina Jade Higgins, Bachelor of Arts Theater. <laughs> Matthew Weil, Bachelor of Arts Theater. <laughs> Rachel Elizabeth Holsart, Bachelor of Arts Theater. Marissa Lee Cannon, Bachelor of Arts Theater. <laughs> Emily Patricia McHale, Bachelor of Arts Theater. <laughs> Constance Sophie Keller, Bachelor of Arts Theater. Catherine Kustra, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. <laughs> Nia W. Ali, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Anthony Edward Crosby, Bachelor of Arts Theater. <laughs> Jennifer G. Adams, Bachelor of Arts Theater. <laughs> Lauren Nicole Bergman, Bachelor of Arts Theater. Andrew Robert Spinosi, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Congrats, dude.
Angelina Carmela Lasala, Bachelor of Arts Dance. Rebecca Lee Teller, Bachelor of Arts, Theater. Well, we're almost there. I, I want to mention a couple of things. We have, uh, for the first time, I, we have graduate students at this particular ceremony. That's the first time we've ever done that, and I think it's great. And I, uh, we have a new Master's of Arts in Administration uh, program, and our first graduates to that program right here today. So uh, it's so, so great that you came across the stage. And although we've been teaching dance for many, many years, uh, today the first graduates in dance uh, received their degree. So, awesome. So I think the students in the math department or some other departments across campus would when they come in as freshmen, they, they might attend a class and see that professor one time in the four years that they're here. All of you, most of you, I'm going to say probably all of you, were with your professor, professors throughout the time that you were here. That's what makes us a little bit unique. And we're honored by that. We're very privileged to be uh, with you throughout your whole time here. Uh, we're very, very proud of you. We're going to be here. We hope you're going to come back and, and say hello to us and uh, join our alumni and uh, bring some more students to us. You know about us, so we need you out there. Keep up the great work. Thank you. This day is yours. Enjoy it. <laughs>